Hi, John here. Today it's uh, Tuesday the 3rd of um, April 2018. I'm just on the um, Cook Street again with the deck collectors. I'm just going to call now. Here he goes. <clears throat> Maybe you can hear me. Hello, Rachel. It's uh, John Wanoa here speaking. Oh, John, I was just actually looking at your details here. How are you? I'm alright, thank you. Only when you've got time. If I've got the wrong time, or well, is it alright? No, no, it's no problem at all. I've just been having some problems with my laptop. I've just had four days off and it doesn't want to wake up. So, oh. <laughs> um, um, so I've got your details here. What number are you calling from at the moment, John? It's come up as a private number. Oh, um, oh, oh, two, oh, four, oh, eight, five, one, oh, four, two. Yeah. Okay, so John, tell me a little bit about your situation. Okay, um, I've got a uh, debt um, going through Annex uh, in the UK that's an um, uh, invoice company here. I've been on it for a little while now, and um, the lawyers I've got um, are too busy at the present time to do the case, <coughs> and I, I, uh, it's intensive uh, case, but I thought if you had a look at it, uh, then um, I think you would uh, tackle this okay. There's enough information for it, and well documented. So it's a New Zealand company, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's your company's name? <coughs> uh, it's um, Cityworks Depot Limited in Auckland Central. Cityworks <coughs> uh, Cityworks, yeah. Yeah? I can email yeah. some details, yeah. So that's to do with yeah. land. It's gone through the NZ Bank. Everything's in the NZ Bank at the moment with the titles and everything. Um, oh, I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I, I'm into the titles field. With lands and wow. bank, bank broking, those sort of things. And so it's your land that's been purchased through the old bank, is that correct? No, no, no. Um, it's it's a land situation where they've defaulted on a contract with me. It's a private contract. Um, and um, I've got the letters from the lawyer covering that and another debt collector, uh, an ex-British uh, um, uh, detective. He's been working on this for a while. <coughs> and... Um, all my uh, documents, everything, I've got a company in, in Britain, here and here as well, that's going through this process at the moment. But it's best if you looked at it, uh, at some of the detail on it, um, not over the phone. It might be best if uh, I came, how, came in. Uh, how much is ours? Uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit. It's, yeah. well, well, when you say quite a bit, is it... You know, 20,000, 100,000? No, oh, well over that. Well, over a billion, two billion. This is, this is land titles and properties. I'm, I'm doing land properties and titles. Right. But it's, it's, um, that's why I say it was best to look at it. I've got them all um, put together and uh, it's been notarised and everything. By, oh, by, by, um, by approved um, New Zealand government lawyer. And, and you say the people that own the money are um, British, is that correct? No, here. No, the, the landowner's here. I'm oh, a landowner, I'm know. a landowner, and they're <coughs> landowner as well. So the landowner is in Auckland? Yeah, yeah, in, in Cook Street, Auckland. Everything's okay. in Auckland. <coughs> and and how, how long has it been outstanding? 
Uh, that's 2015, uh, 12th of March 2015, with ANEX Invoice Company in Britain. They're doing all my, my work there and um, um, to um, keep record. And these lawyers. Why can I ask why is it down, person? Because um, all my business is going to be in Britain. I've got the companies, everything set up there with tidal energy projects and land. Um, under the King title in England. I'm acting here, direct straight into Westminster. Right, but it's, it's a New Zealand company. Yeah, Zealand, yeah, correct? yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, look, John, we do have um, a few minutes left, so I'm going to go to the main offices based in Auckland. Um, mm -hmm. I'm actually in the satellite office down in. Christchurch. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm working Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I prefer. Yeah, a conference or yeah. or something. But I'll send okay. you um, formal stuff first, the letterhead stuff, and seal yeah. stuff. Um, um, then um, uh, have, take a look at it, and um, it's it's fresh anyway. Okay. So, John, what's your email address? It's Moai M O A I Moai statue Moai Energy. Yeah. E N E R G Y at gmail dot com. So that's M O A I Energy at gmail dot com. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Well, John, what I'll do if you could, um, like I said, I'll send you through an email with a little bit of information about our services. Yep. Okay. And you just reply to that um, with a little bit more sort of information and. And you know, documents to back up what you're saying. Um, I'll discuss it with my um, director and get back to you. That that'll be that'll be fine. It, um, yeah, that'll be fine. You haven't got any uh, branch in Auckland, have you? Um, we do have an office in Auckland, but like I say, I'm I'm um, just working down in Christchurch. Okay. Oh, that's I normally work in the I normally work in the Auckland office. That's. I've just got, um, and family stuff going on, so I'm just down in Christchurch yeah, that, for that's, a month or so, and probably will be for another probably four to six weeks. So yeah, that's so no I'm, problem. I'm working out of Christchurch. That's no um, problem. Like I said, I'll, I'll send you this information, mm -hmm. um, and you know, if you can reply to that, then I can certainly have a conference session with you about what you're saying. No problem. Okay. Okay, thanks, um, Rachel. Thanks, thanks, thanks John. Okay, bye. Then. bye. There we go. <coughs> I think it was Rachel. Yeah, Rachel there. <coughs> there we go. That's the debt company. She's operating from uh, Christchurch. That's a shame because I really wanted someone in Auckland. Um, but, however, that's fine. I think I might have to um, um, double handle another one in Auckland at the same time. That's why I wasn't too sure about which one to go with. But I've put their name on to the documents at ANEX um, Invoice Company. So it's gonna it's gonna <coughs> it's going to start this week, and I don't want to waste another moment longer. Um, so at the present time, uh, I'm just putting all the documents together for Cook Street and they amount to all of that there with Ernest Augustus here, the reigning monarch prince of England, Britain, UK. Okay, so his king title was taken away by the queen, but she didn't ri realize he's the heir to. King George III. So these are the documents that goes with Cook Street title. These are the titles to Cook Street, Auckland, 
and this is the police files where the police lost the case against me. They lost the case against me and this corporate name Wanoa. Okay, you see that name Wanoa in capital letters? <clears throat> That's a corporation of myself. It's worth one trillion pounds sterling converted into Maui pound notes. That's what that's worth. Now, all I'm doing is billing everyone in the world the same amount of fraudsters. There's 7.8 billion people in the world. Then that's 7.7, 7.8 7 billion people, 7.8 billion trillion straight off on this birth ticket, I certificate name of a bond on the stock market that I've just showed you. It's come out of this flag, the King's flag. Okay? I'm using this King's flag for my authority to seize properties. I just need one deck clicker to pick it up and go and seize it. Okay, so that's one deck collector. I'm going to get on to another one in a minute. So I was waiting for her call, uh, and so I called her first. Uh, it's strange she's not working in Auckland. She's down there for some time, so you heard what she said. We'll go and look again for another one, and we'll just pick which one is going to do it. I'll just, I've got to write up, keep writing all the time. I'll wait for her email and she'll tell me what their conditions are and we'll go from there and she'll take it to her director, boss, and I'll have a look at it. I'll, I'll, I've got to go and do a straight case to them out of these books and squash it down into a single page letter here to their company from my company here. Now to where we are, Altair Limited <coughs> and the British company, Moai Powerhouse Group Limited. <coughs> At the moment it's a private company, Moai Powerhouse Group. It's a private company. Um, so uh, Moai Crown is a private company. Moai uh, Moriori Manukau Trust is a private company. My King William Fourth Trust is a private company. Okay, so those are private companies that I'm using as creditor against debtors. So I've put some more information online, and uh, that's to give notice. You'll see videos there, uh, and my lips are moving. I'm not dead, um, as the Crown thinks I am. This is the only way to do it, uh, to get justice, is directly into the camera so you can see me and I'm expecting the people who I accuse, you've never seen them reply to me. They won't, they stay silent, ignorant and therefore lose against me. The police lost the case against me, it's all in here. The case against me on Cook Street was dismissed. It's in them, and I'm using it against them, the whole lot of them, each one of those policemen. There's 15,000 police, a trillion pound on their head, bond, bail, outstanding. Now you'll see I've got the ANEX invoice <coughs> there, online, on Facebook, as proof I can do that as instruments against anyone who I say is a fraudster. John Key, you've got a trillion pound bond bail on your head. I just need to find one debt collector to take it on. That's all I need, one debt collector to take it on. Orders from me, straight from Te Unga Waka Morai Native Magistrate Court here in Auckland, Epsom. Now, I got approval from that Marae and the Catholic people in there 
and the Catholic people up in Hokianga <coughs> on Taheke Morai. Between those two Morais, I've got those Catholic native Moai people, I call them. I don't use the word Maori because, not because of ignorance, but because that tribe belongs to the Queen and the Iwi Crown Ngati Whātua tribe, okay, in Auckland Central. Now that's your enemy, the Iwi Maori Trustees, the Maori Land Court and the Crown Corporation, New Zealand Crown in Wellington. They get the bill for everything. 970 million trillion trillion pound note. The green one in here, this one. This book here went through Te Ungawaka Marae Native Magistrate Court with Prince Ernest Augustus of England, Britain, UK, Scotland and Northern Ireland here with eight point star right here and his eight point star on his flag right there and the eight point star on my head right there now I have Daryl Payen in California <coughs> working with this eight point star and the flag he's using the flag under my authority people if you're watching this video take notice I'm acting as a surrogate king for Ernest Augustus the fifth reigning monarch sovereign of the king the five kings emperors that's King William the third the creator of the Bank of England, the creator of this pound note we have, and the creator of this eight point star municipalities, and the creator of the Bank of England Acts, and the Mining Acts, and the Gold Acts. Right? That's that king, King William III, <coughs> the creator of the eight point star St. Patrick's municipalities on our flag. That's number one. Number two, <coughs> is King George the Third. He's the king of America, the founding, 1776, founding King of Britain, UK. That's number two. Number three is King George the Fourth, the son of King George the Third. That's number three. Number four is King William the Fourth, the creator of this 1834 Declaration of War, Commercial Trading Bank flag, state of emergency, when there's a threat on our financial investments and our trade with other countries from New Zealand, then this flag seizes that country or its assets, or any land back, if there's a threat of banking and financial investment interests other than our own, the people of New Zealand, and the Paramount Chiefs. Not Arikis, not Maoris, not any other Chiefs, just the Paramount Chiefs on the documents in here, straight to Britain, Westminster. Magistrate Court and Edinburgh Magistrate Court and the British Royal Navy. First Lord of the Sea, so Philip Jones. Okay? That's our partner. Our legal, legitimate partner, the Navy. Right. That's number four. Number five is the other brother. These are three brothers. The fifth brother is King Ernest Augustus the first. Three brothers and their father, King George the fourth. Four plus one, King William the third. 
1694 Bank of England Act, 1694 Pound Note Act, legal instrument, right there, 970 million trillion trillion pound note against all the Queen's Crown corporations, including the Rothschild banks and every other country that derived its authority from these five kings. There, it's in this book, the title to all their wealth. Along with that goes three chiefs, three paramount chiefs, commercial land owners here in New Zealand. These are the commercial landowners holding title to this country and the Pacific Islands. The first one, Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau. In 1823, with King George the Fourth, signed agreement in Edinburgh Magistrate Court to sell this country because the French or the British were going to take it anyway from the native Moriori Manukau tribes men. So off he goes to England, into Cambridge, from Cambridge on his marae, his Punga Punga marae, in Arapuni, on the banks of the Waikato River, named after him, Te Waikato, and his Mangatauteri marae pa site, Mangatauteri pa site, in the Cambridge County District, straight to Cambridge, England. That's where he went to learn English and to learn property titles, banks, and land transfers. Hence, he's there to sign an agreement with the King George IV through Lieutenant William Simon. And so, that's our legacy in this book, with that king, emperor. Next is Refere for Manica. That was 1694 then, between, sorry, 1820 to 1830, King George IV reigning period. All that time was the first beginnings of our titles here, commercial land owner titles, to use land and the natural resources with the king and the British immigrants who are here, a few of them. Hey? Right, that's 1820, 1830, 1823. Period. Next comes King William IV, 1830 took over from his brother to 1837 period. In 1834, he gave this flag as a contract, continuation of a contract, private contract, with his ancestor, <coughs> King George IV, and Te Waikato. He continued that contract with Refere for Manukau, the sibling of Te Re Waikato, Whare Here Here Manukau, of Waikato. <coughs> so that's that contract in private magistrate court. Signed up with John Rogan in Awaroa Bank Magistrate Court, Ellensville. Okay. <clears throat> so now we've got those two Manukau chiefs. The third 
Paramount Chief, those are two Paramount Chiefs. The third Paramount Chief is Hori Te Kuri. Hori Te Kuri. T E K U R I. Hori H O O R I. Te T E K U R U. K U R E R K U R I Kuri Kuri Te Kuri of Taheke <coughs> Marai and the um, court where he worked in Rawane on the banks of the Hokianga, upper reaches of the harbour. He worked in there as a British agent, Hori Te Kuri. Now, in 1862, Referef Manukau signed a big block of land from Clevedon over the Bombay Hill to Waioku from the east side to the west side. All of that land area over the Bombay Hills up to Akaka 